if I were to design the perfect flat pedal gravel specific cycling shoe, what would it look like? What are the qualities would I want? And are there any shoes out there on the market that come close? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So the first thing I would want in a gravel specific cycling shoe, again, this is a shoe that's gonna straddle that line between the needs of the road cyclist and the mountain biker. And the first one is I want a shoe that is not over Built. So let me explain. During the winter, I do a lot of trail running, so I'm very in tune uh, with my feet and my shoes. I really love what modern trail running shoes have done recently, and I think a lot of that can be applied to cycling shoes. By not being overbuilt, I mean cutting out all the fat. Do we really need super puffy ankle collars? Does the shoe have to weigh 400 grams? Does it need all the extra material to make it stiff when you're going to be using a flat pedal, which, you know, no shoe is going to be stiffer than a flat pedal. So I would design a shoe that would be a little bit more mindful of trimming the fat where you can. Again, this is inspired by the trail riding shoes that, that I personally like. They tend to make the, the tongue not so puffy. They tend to have more minimal padding around the ankle collar. And they're light. Trail riding shoes are surprisingly light when compared to cycling shoes. The second thing I would want in the perfect uh, gravel specific cycling shoe is one that is foot shaped. This can be a little bit contentious because everyone's foot is shaped differently. But by and large, painting with a big brush, most cycling shoes tend to be really narrow. I don't know how many people actually have like really narrow missile shaped feet. Uh, I am not one of them. I don't think my feet are particularly wide, but they definitely don't look like a pointy missile. So I want something foot shaped. And again, this is influenced by, you know, the trail running shoes I like to run in. And by that, I mean something where it is a little bit wider. It's shaped how feet naturally are as opposed to uh, what looks good aesthetically from a shoe design perspective. Again, a little bit of a contentious point because there are some people with that really narrow foot shape, but I would argue there are a lot of people that don't have that narrow foot shape. And most cycling shoes, whether it's for aesthetics or perceived aerodynamics, they tend to be biased towards a super uh, narrow foot shape. The third thing I would want in a gravel specific cycling shoe is a good amount of flexibility. It doesn't have to be super minimalist shoe flexibility. The toe doesn't have to be able to, to touch your ankle, but a little bit more than the typical mountain bike cycling shoe. And I would want this for those instances when you're doing a gravel ride and you have to push the bike because it's too muddy or you're bike packing and you're on a hike a bike section. It's nice to have some sole flexibility. Many cycling shoes, not so much, you know, really stiff. The stiffness theoretically is supposed to make for a more efficient pedal stroke, but it totally sucks for walking. And to my thinking, once again, this is gonna be a contentious point here. I don't think flat pedal shoes have to be this stiff, especially when all pedals, even composite pedals, are gonna be the, the stiffest part of the pedaling system. It just has to be stiff enough and give me some flexibility so when I'm off the bike, I can actually feel comfortable walking and hiking over rocks. Before I move on to the different shoes I've tried this year, uh, a quick note about pedals. In many ways, your gravel specific shoe experience is only gonna be as good as the pedals that you use. So you definitely wanna use high quality pedals, doesn't have to be super spendy. I actually really like these composite pedals with metal pins from EC. I know that there are many pedals that are similar to this, like the Chester. I like the EC thumps specifically because there's no hump in the spindle. If anything, there's a little bit of a cradle here, so it kind of just hugs your foot and there's no hump to develop a hot spot. Also, these pins are super grippy and replaceable. So for any of the shoes I'm about to talk about uh, to work well, you also need to pair it with a really good pedal. What shoes have I tried this past year and what has come the closest to my platonic a gravel specific flat pedal cycling shoe. This is a Pearl Izumi Alp X and this I actually reviewed last year and there are a lot of qualities about this I like and some I don't. I like that it has a fairly minimal tongue although this ankle collar is a little bit more padded. I would have preferred the lace version as opposed to the boa. My experience with boa is that yes it is quick to tighten up but you have to do it fairly often because it will loosen over the length of the ride. For me, I really like this outsole material. It worked well uh, with my pedals. One thing I didn't like is how generally stiff uh, this shoe is. It's fine on the bike, but stiff for walking. Not my favorite shoe if there's gonna be lots of hike-a-bike sections. One thing I did really appreciate about this shoe is that it does have a little bit more of a foot shape 
shape. It's it's not like a super narrow shoe missile. A lot to like with this Perla Zumi. I do think it's slightly overbuilt. It weighed in at about 370 grams, so a little bit on the chunkier side. I think there's some fat that could be trimmed off this shoe uh, to make it even better. But overall, pretty good shoe. Next shoe is the Stamp by Crank Brothers. In many ways, this kind of addresses a lot of the issues with the Perla Zumi shoe and kind of gets worse in other ways. So it's got laces, which I love. You know, if something goes wrong with lace, you can just pick up another lace. Uh, to that end, it's also got a really nice lace garage here. So you can tuck uh, the knots out of the way. It doesn't get caught in your pedals. One thing I really didn't like about this shoe is how padded all this stuff is. I mean, it's like, it's like, a, it's like a bounce house in here. It almost feels, it, it, it feels like a kid's shoe when I see this much padding. I think in this area, way overbuilt for me. Interestingly, however, it is a lot more flexible than the Pearl Izumi. So definitely a better shoe to walk in. In terms of the outsole, I found it to be fairly grippy. Worked well with those EC thump pedals that I really like. In terms of foot shape, it's actually not too bad. It's not the most foot shaped shoe, but it's definitely not like the narrow uh, roady foot missile. With regards to weight, it is a little bit on the chonky side. Uh, at 380 grams when compared to the Pearl Izumi. So again, a lot to like here, but there are some areas where I think it can be improved and it's primarily in this ankle cuff. Uh, for me, used to more minimalist trail riding shoes, this is just too much. I think if they slim this area down, it would also lose some weight. But otherwise, I mean, this is, this is a pretty nice shoe from Crank Brothers. This next shoe is from the brand Lake. And I think it was supposed to come out, but I don't see it on their website. So I'm not sure what the status of the shoe is, but it gets a lot right. First off, one really interesting thing about Lake is that they offer their shoes in different lasts, so different foot width and foot shape. This is on one of their wider lasts. Definitely the most foot shaped last from coming out of any cycling specific brand. It's got bow laces. I would have preferred uh, just regular lace laces. One thing I think the shoe gets right that the other shoes don't is how minimal uh, the ankle cuff is. Yes, there is some padding, but it's not overbelt. It doesn't feel like a shoe for a kindergartner. Very slim tongue, very slim yet supportive uh, ankle collar here. Probably my favorite ankle collar of any a cycling specific shoe brand that I have tried. It, in terms of the outsole, it doesn't look fairly aggressive. There's some pedals that I've used with this outsole, uh, which it just works great with, like the EC Thump. And there are some where the pins don't line up where I want them to, or they're too big or not deep enough, and they don't quite grip uh, the sole of the shoe. Another kind of negative for me for this shoe is that it's not the most walkable. It is fairly on the stiff side. And I think part of that has to do with uh, the sole. It's got a really tall platform, which I think is a little bit excessive. I would have liked to see this with a shallower stack. I think that would bring back more flexibility and a better feel of the pedal, as well as uh, reducing some weight. This shoe weighs in at 377 grams on our scale. And there's a lot to like, but again, not perfect. Next up is this shoe by the brand DZR. It is a cycling specific brand. Uh, they make shoes that use clipless pedals. This is not one of them. And this one's pretty interesting. Uh, weighed in at 305 grams. So what I like about it is that it has traditional laces as well as an elastic strap to tuck uh, your knot in. Ankle cuff is cushioned, but not overbuilt, which is a nice touch. The shoe has this textured outsole, which I found interfaced pretty well with the pedals that I used it with. And check this out. The shoe has amazing flexibility for a cycling shoe. It's almost borderline too flexible. Again, you know, I don't want like a minimalist shoe where you can fold the toe into the ankle, but more than you would get in a traditional cycling shoe. The thing I probably like the least about this shoe is that it does have that tendency to have that really narrow profile. I had to size up to get the appropriate width at the cost of having a little bit more toe than I would like. Uh, but if you have long narrow feet, however, then this shoe would work great for you. I just want that extra width without the extra length. And if there is one other thing I would change uh, about this shoe to make it more gravel specific is I would actually love to see this as a mid top, a little bit tighter around the ankle, provide a little bit more stability, but also keep the small little pieces of grab grab out of your shoe. All right, guys, we are getting to the end. I promise this next shoe is by Lems and it is their trailhead in this awesome, very 90s colorway that they call uh, Mercury Sunset. 
not cycling specific, but out of all the shoes I have tried this past summer, this is a shoe I've probably gone back to the most. First thing, ankle cuff. Yes, there is padding, but it is not overbuilt. <clears throat> it's got a fairly thin tongue, but still adds lots of support and protection. Outsole is this bright orange uh, kind of textured outsole. I found this to be fairly grippy on the pedals that I used it with. Traditional laces that I love. And again, the last is a foot shaped last. So not the uh, narrow shoe missile, but something a little bit more foot shaped. And that is something that Lems is known for. They really strike that balance of having a foot shaped shoe that doesn't look too weird, which has some minimal shoe elements, but isn't ultra minimal. In a lot of ways, they really strike that middle ground between conventional and minimal slash foot shaped shoe. In terms of flexibility, a good amount of flex without being too flexible. I think this shoe really nails the amount of flexibility that I want in uh, a gravel specific flat pedal cycling shoe. It also doesn't weigh a ton. This, this only weighs 343 grams uh, when you compare it with the other cycling specific shoes that are 370, 380. So really well balanced shoe and probably my favorite uh, flat pedal cycling shoe that I tried this summer. It's not cycling specific. It's meant to be just a, like a lightweight hiker or walking shoe, but it works so dang well for cycling. If there's one thing I would change to make uh, this shoe more gravel specific, again, would be to bring this up, make it a little bit more of a mid top, to provide that ankle support and keep the grav grav out of your, your feet and your socks. And that leads me to the final shoe, uh, which is this. This is another shoe by Lems. Again, I love the brand, I bought this shoe. This is their Chukka, not cycling specific, but I do love riding on these. And these are the lightest shoes in this video, weighing in at 295 grams. It's built around a foot shaped last. It has traditional laces, very minimal ankle cuff, yet super comfortable. I think the only downside of this shoe is for me, a little bit too flexible. I do want a little bit more support than this shoe can offer. Also, this sole that Lems has here, not my favorite sole. I find that when things get wet or icy, this is a pretty slippery sole. My perfect gravel specific flat pedal cycling shoe would be some kind of hybrid of the trailhead and the chukka. If they made the chukka with the sole on the trailhead, I think this would literally tick all the boxes. It would be fairly lightweight. It would be foot shaped. It would have a very minimal ankle cuff yet provide enough coverage and protection to keep the rocks out of your socks. Hey, that rhymed. It would give you the right amount of flex. This again, a little bit too flexible and it would give you a better sole with better traction for flat pedals. And, and before you guys poo poo the idea of a cycling chukka, you should see some of the crazy things people are doing these days. There's that weird shoe sock from Adidas and these gravel gaiters from Pearl Azumi. So they all see the need for a little bit more ankle coverage but they're doing it in really weird ways. The other standard approach that which most cycling shoe brands take is just creating a skate shoe, a mid top skate shoe from the 80s. This is another contentious point here. Uh, there's nothing wrong with a skate inspired shoe. It's just, I think every brand does it. Have a little bit of creativity, do something different, take a different form factor. There are more than enough uh, skate inspired cycling shoes out there in the market. Thank you very much. Think outside the box guys. Of course, that is what I think. What do you guys think? What do you look for in a gravel specific flat pedal cycling shoe? What shoes would you recommend? Leave those in the comments below. If you like this content, consider supporting the channel by joining us on Patreon. That's probably the best way to do it. Keep the lights on. You also get access to lots of discount codes on really sweet brands or visit the web store, buy some stickers, patches, prints, all that good stuff. And as always, keep the supple side down.